today today must be a hallucination day because number one there's a light over there I thought I saw someone walk by and then I thought someone was sitting down right there now I'm always in this cemetery and usually my mind doesn't play games with me like that my mind doesn't really you know it doesn't really freak me out for some reason for some reason for some reason it's uh it's getting me to think in terms of me not being alone which it's like duh i know i'm not alone i'm in a cemetery uh but it's uh it's um you know i mean that's like a bench right there but it, it my mind told me that someone was sitting there my mind doesn't usually do that so that is a sign that the demons there's a few demons that are trying to play games with me so I have to be on my guard but I'm not like I said I'm not really afraid of shit there's a crematorium crematorium Cruising through the cemetery. I don't know, I, I really am at the point in my life where I, I really am not afraid of nothing. You know, nothing. I'm not afraid of people, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm just I'm just not afraid of shit anymore, you know. I'm in here by myself, I lock myself in the cemetery. Again. You know, not because I think I'm a badass, you know, not because I think I'm John Wayne, but, you know, I just, I just do not fear, I do not, I mean, for all, you know, I see all these dead people as my relatives, you know what I'm saying? It's like, why would I want to be afraid of them? Uh, but I'm sure there may be a few evil demons hanging around here. That is possible. So, those are the bastards that, you know, I have to look out for. Because they could, they could uh, appear to be very scary, demonic entities. You know, it's possible. You know, I, I still, you know, I've, I've seen some of those in my life, I, in my lifetime. I've seen solid shadows in my lifetime before. Like, it's a long story, but... So I'm not, I'm not stupid. I know they're real. You know, I know they're real. I know they exist, but they don't have any power over me like they used to. You know, so if I see them, it's like, okay, so what's your point, bro? You know what I mean? It doesn't really... If they're trying to spook me or scare me, it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been through too much in my life to just fear anything... I really, you know, I don't fear, I mean, if anything, I'm the ghost. I am the ghost that, I am the demon that they need to be afraid of, you know? You know what I'm saying? I am the bastard that they should fear. And that's the way I see it, and that's why I'm not afraid of shit. You know? But, I mean, because people have said, oh, I've, you know, I've seen people in my car, you know, and, and they've been so scared shitless, like, someone sitting in their back seat, you know what I'm saying? And they, they go crazy, man, they, they just lose it. They don't know how to, you know, they don't know how to deal with that situation. Now, if someone's in my back seat, I'm going to start talking to them. I'm going to ask them what they want, you know, or what, what can I do for them, you know, is there anything I can do? That's my stupid seatbelt. Damn it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I mean, there's times when, yeah, you know, you do get creeped out here. It does creep you out a little bit, but it doesn't really do it to me anymore as much as it used to. You know? Because for the most part, all these people... They're like, they're like, they're like my family. That's the way I see it. Because 
I've always been dead, you know. And so it's like we're we're on the same level at this point. But mo mostly you got just people that have been they're in their caskets. They've been asleep for a long time. You know, they're at rest. They're their journey they're on their journey, you know. There's still power in their bones and flesh. You know, there's still microscopic atoms that are still whirling that we don't know about and physics can't measure that keeps them alive beyond the grave. And that is what I capitalize on and that is what they capitalize on. When I do my vampirism, extra, you know, practices and when they whatever do whatever they do I'm sure they come back and visit their body you know because supposedly nobody's going to heaven until the last day they were that everyone's judged that's the saying that's what the Christians believe so if that's the case that means that a lot of these people they're still lingering between the worlds and they have not gone to heaven yet now if that's true then there's a lot of spirits hanging around in this cemetery and uh, that's not such a bad thing I mean I feel bad for all these people and I, I feel I feel bad for their families you know there's a lot of flowers man a lot of flowers the day of the dead is a the dia de los muertos Se va, se va a llegar. Um, the, the day of the dead is on the way. And uh, it's going to be really busy around the cemetery, you know. We're going to have to watch it, you know, extra. We're going to have to give it extra attention. Um, porque se va a estar muchas personas aquí llorando. Y, you know, a lot of people crying, you know, for their families. And... Who knows, man? Maybe the, you know, the, we'll see the Yorona or, you know, or the Lady in White, you know, y Yorona, um, La Yorona. Que paso? There's a lot of ghosts here, like, well, not real one. I mean, what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of like people buying these little 99 cent store ghosts, and they're hanging them from trees. You know, they're hanging them from trees and stuff. You know what I mean? They're hanging them from trees. Oh, shit, spotlight. Damn it. And, you know, they're, they're getting ready to celebrate Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Like Halloween. <clears throat> so, it is what it is. Like I said, man, this is like... This is the V, uh, there's a ghost right there, me, Mira. Mira, right there. That's a ghost, that's the woman, a woman, and not the woman, but it's a woman in white. It's a woman in white. Um, una vestido blanca. Una mujer con una vestido blanca. Está colgado de una árbolera. Y los manos de Jesús ahí en ese tumba. Híjola. No oh, me está diciendo, me está haciendo miedo ahorita. Yo voy a ir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skin out of this cemetery, you know. Well, there's a mausoleum. I've been thinking of going in the mausoleum, man. But a lot of guys don't want to go in there, man. It's like too scary. There it is, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'll take you guys in there one of these days. You know, maybe I'll take you in there. You know what? Let's go in there now. Let's go in. You know what? What kind of person would I be if I didn't take you guys to go see the mausoleum? I'd be an awful person. Shit. Alright. Alright, I have a feeling this is where they're going to scare me. Or they want to initiate contact. They want to initiate con contact with me. Oh, 
don't see anyone hanging around here, man. Left my car over there by itself, huh? Oh, it's quiet. I'm feeling... I'm getting like a skin galvanization. Someone just told me to be quiet. Someone just shushed me in here. All right. It looks quiet. Yeah, like the goosebumps were standing up on me. I heard something over there. All right, guys. I better get back to the car. It's nice, man. It's quiet. It's peaceful. Pretty peaceful. I could have swore somebody shushed me though. Shoot, man, people putting lights on all these tombstones. All right. All right, I can't hang out too long here. Or else they're gonna know something's up, so I gotta take off. All right, guys. Well, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. You know, I don't know if you'll hear anything on the audio. I gotta check it out right now. I'm gonna check out the audio and the visual, see if I caught anything on camera. Uh, so we'll talk soon, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. All right.